Uh, today we are trying a gin, which I haven't, I'm not too familiar with a lot of gins. I've never had gin before. So, this is called Waterloo. Let's see if I can <laughs> show you that. Waterloo, it's from Austin, Texas. I think their distillery is in uh, uh, Dripping Springs, Texas, somewhere. Um, but this is a different kind. It says Texas style gin. Um, it's like, well, it's gin, but they've added a few flavors like uh, rosemary, grapefruit, lavender, pecans, juniper, and other native flavors. So, have no idea. I don't even know what gin, a good gin is supposed to taste like, but we're gonna try this one. <laughs> And we're also gonna do the drink. My wife has been crazy over. It's not. I just want to know drink. what it is. It's not a new drink. I, apparently, it's an old drink. <laughs> but it's, it's. It's like you know how a martini, a regular martini, is an old drink. It's yeah. like that. But she's been all excited to find it. She finally found it, and we make it with gin. So we're gonna do the Waterloo gin out of Texas. Um, and make a gimlet. That's right. Say it, David. A gimlet! <laughs> make me a gimlet, James. Make me a gimlet. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know how to recover after that one. But <laughs> I can be silly sometimes, too. <laughs> uh, let's try this out and see how it smells and tastes. And then we'll Get on to the gimlet part. A gimlet. Gimlet. <laughs> gotta say it fancy. I'm not that fancy. I don't think I can get it out like that. You gotta pretend to be fancy. I can stick my pinky out when I drink. That's about all I can do. Alright, so that's the Waterloo Gin. Oh, from... You said it was from Austin, Texas already. It's from Austin, Texas, but it's... uh. Treaty Oak Distilling Company. Cool. Oh boy, it's got like, you know if you smell a juniper, that smell, it's, it smells juniper. You can smell the juniper, you can get the rosemary, um, That, that does. It, it smells like outside when it's really hot and steamy. <laughs> no, they ain't kidding when they said it smells like, I mean, that's what Texas smells like. Well, so it smells northern like, part of Texas. The other smells like beef and poo. It smells like the whole country. Yeah, you can really taste the juniper and the rosemary. Strong. It is. It's pretty strong. Is it? Do you like it? I. I gotta get. Give it a minute. Okay. This is the first gin I think I've ever tried. I don't think I've ever it tried is. any gins. It is the first gin we've ever tried. Or so, it's gonna be my first gin. It says a big gin, uh, a, a gin as big as Texas. So. So maybe you started off with the super gin. Maybe I started. <laughs> the super gin. <laughs> but no, it's got some, some smells on it. I mean, you can really. It's like I'm chewing on the rosemary and juniper's outside. <laughs> and it's, it's pretty potent. It's not bad. It just, it's, the, 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 the flavors are really strong on it. But maybe that's how gin is. I don't know. I think I read that it had coriander in it too. Coriander and, uh, anise? Did yeah, I say it? Anise. What's, what, what? It's a spice. What flavor? What does it smell like, taste like, anise? I don't really know, but I, I think they use it in like pumpkin pie and stuff too. I think they had it in root beer too, maybe. I think it's supposed to be like a licorice kind of. Maybe that's it? Okay. <laughs> it's 
Yeah, it's like I brush my teeth with a, a juniper branch. <laughs> You're not making me look forward to this. <laughs> it's not bad. It's different. Like I said, we haven't had many gins. Anyways, let's let's get on. I'll have to drink more gins to compare. Okay. How's that? Because that, that's got a lot of, of flavors that we're used to smelling around here. So it's like you're at work. Oh. <laughs> smelling work. <laughs> okay, that's not a very good comparison. But yeah. <laughs> Okay, carry on. Oh, well, no, think I'm just about lost it. Now. Rosemary <laughs> juniper. Okay, so Gimlet. Uh, you're supposed to prepare it in a shaker, but don't shake it. No, you use a bar spoon. Bar spoon. You have to stir it. So I don't know why they say just don't pour it in a glass and sh vigorously. You have to stir it vigorously until everything is cold. That's what it okay. says. Okay, so it says fill shaker with ice. Fill with ice. Okay. Add. There it is. Two ounces of gin. So that's going to be four because we're making it for two. Mm -hmm. And I got this recipe off Food Network. Food Network. So get it. They have drink recipes too. Why am I doing this over my table? Towel. Okay. One. Two, three, all right, so two ounces of gin, the Waterloo gin, it's got a, a taste that, the more you taste it, it just, you just keep they, they did pretty good with the flavors on what we have around here, I gotta say, because I can taste all those flavors. Oop. Um, three quarter ounce of lime juice, and we're going fresh squeezed. Yes, <laughs> right at the bottle. But we do have a fresh lime for garnish. <laughs> All right. Okay, three quarters. I'll just kind of get it as close as I can here. So it would be an ounce and a half. Hey, <laughs> that's right. That's why I got my mathematician and slash film. Producer. I may not be pretty, but <laughs> I can add. You are a foxy. <laughs> I can add and I can spell. <laughs> Without yeah. me, you would be lost. <laughs> I'd be lost. All right. So that was the freshly squeezed lime juice. Mm -hmm. um, and simple syrup. Um, we're using the, the Ready Rabbit simple syrup. Maybe you should shake it. Shake it? Well, because it's like got sugar stuff and just to make sure that it's all, I don't know. I don't know what happens to it when it gets in the fridge. <laughs> Is that better? It's like sugar water, so I don't know. You always got me in on eating. Can it separate? I wouldn't think so. It's just weird. One of these days I'm going to take a shot of this. Why do you want to drink just sugar water? There's like... Roll back as when I was a kid. I don't know. I used to eat all kinds of sugar. Did, so you just ate plain sugar? Why not? Sugar cubes? Hell yeah! <laughs> we weren't allowed to eat sugar like that. My mom was like... That's what happens when your parents don't raise you. <laughs> okay. That's in there and it says... Vigorously with a spoon. Don't make a mess. <laughs> How's that? Is it like freezing cold? It's cold. So that's do it some more, just in case. Just in case. <laughs> Gimlet, Jane. Your name is James, so I get to say, Gimlet, James, give me some Gimlet. And then they said strain into the glass. Well, 
Let's get. Garnish with a lime. So I'm kind of scared because normally the drinks that I go for are like fruity and sweet, like dessert drinks, you know? Like dessert drinks? Yeah, like drinks that make you think like you're eating candy and stuff because that's you, how you roll. That's how I roll. I I want my shit to taste super good. Wow, you just <laughs> got a mouth today. Wait a minute. What do you think? It looks like the picture. Does it look like the picture? It does look like the picture. I aced that one, huh? Just say you aced it. You are awesome. You are awesome. I'm awesome. Okay. Um. You want to try it first taste? I'll let you try it first. If I'll you let die, you try it good. first. I'll let you try it first. Here, take this. You take that. You're the guinea pig. Why am I the guinea pig? You're the one pointing this drink. I was like, no, I don't think so. I know, but now I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kind of cloudy. Ooh, this is good. Oh, it kind of reminds me of limeade. And there's no alcohol burn. No, this. Well, I was afraid that there was going to be like a big alcohol burn because maybe you should have seen your face. I saw every <laughs> single one of your teeth. You were like, I was manning it up. What are you talking like, about? There was some serious alcohol burn. And there was, I mean, two ounces is a lot of alcohol in one drink, I think. No, I mean, you could take now, now the flavors that were really strong in this are a lot more subtle. This is really good. With a little bit of sweet. Yeah. Um, Gimlet. Who knew? This is a good drink. Y'all need to start <laughs> trying a Gimlet. So. And they're super easy to make. Waterloo with all their flavors and their gin makes a damn good drink. Yeah, all you need is a little bit of lime juice and some simple syrup. Look at Bam, bam. I'm doing my bams today. Fresh squeezed. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, but it's for, that's what passes it? for fresh squeeze in our house. <laughs> I squeezed it. It's really good. All the flavors that were super strong in there are now just a subtle flavor. It just it kind of reminds me of like a limey, but it's not like it. There's it's not it's, sweet. It's not super. It's sweet. like a lime lime, like a. But you can tell the juniper and the rosemary. Just nice, subtle flavors. It's good. Okay, I can pink it. Yeah, do you feel sophisticated? You got your sophistication going on? The sophistication? Sophistication. That ain't bad at all. No, now I want to start looking up like other old no, you drinks. Don't. I do. Like, okay, what about a um a Bloody Mary? I no, we're gonna do those. We're gonna do a Bloody Mary with the vodka bacon flavor. I, I the, fl the bacon flavored vodka. That's our next Bloody Mary we're gonna make. Where do you get bacon flavored vodka from? At the bacon flavor vodka store? Oh really? There's a store dedicated <laughs> just to bacon flavored vodka. Yeah. Haven't seen that store. <laughs> <laughs> it's right next to the bacon flavored everything else, the donut store. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I would recommend this. This is pretty good. Um, I would recommend this to everybody, even like because even I like it, and I like the like the daiquiris and stuff. The Waterloo alone is pretty strong. Um, with the flavors, I mean, you, you can really tell. When you add a few things to it, it's just right. This is definitely a mixer. And you don't have to mix it with very much either. No, I mean, a few things here and there. And this is good. Uh, I think I might get tore up tonight. <laughs> tore up from the floor up? Of course, you get the floor after, so 
That's all right. I'm so top down. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get you, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we'll wrap this up. That's the Waterloo uh, gin. Um, pretty badass as a mixer. Um, straight, strong flavors, um, but real on point with them. I don't think anybody drinks gin straight though. Like I don't think that that's a hey, I'm gonna have a glass of gin. Well, I have to because I have to know what what the flavors are like. But um, no, they're they're spot on with the flavors. Um, just really intense. But in a mixed drink, it it's just spot on. Um, and then a couple of ingredients, and we're we got a gimlet. <laughs> so good, I never. <laughs> I never imagined. So, I mean, it's not a new drink, it's an old drink, but it's not bad. Um, I think I our grandparents knew what they were doing when it came to alcohol. They were drunk all the time, what are you talking about? <laughs> Prohibition woman, prohibition. There you go. All right, we're gonna wrap it up. That's all we got for today. Like, share, and subscribe. The wife's getting all sauced up on units. Yeah, oh yeah, because you know what I wanted to say? They should give you some, like an alcohol to try. Like what to, the, what they want you to try to see what it tastes like. If there's something, well, that's the problem is you can't get the same alcohol in every state. So that's true, but it may be, maybe there might, somebody we, might want We one. look for a lot of different ones. Um, I mean, we have tons of liquor um, from all over, but there's some we just can't get. I mean, we've tried. Even ordering it. Okay, we're wrapping it up. <laughs> That's our video for today. We'll see you next Friday on the next liquor review. Yes, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>